Hey guys, Randy here with AT3Tactical.com and today it's all about pivot pins and safety squints. Yeah, here's the one installation on your AR that's sure to drive you mad unless of course you watch this here pivot pin installation video because we've got a few clutch tips, tricks to keep your pivot pin detent and spring from flying across the room and ultimately saving your sanity in the end Let's talk AR rifle pivot pin installation. Before we get to the tools, I got to mention our latest and greatest giveaway. It just launched. How's about a 20 inch, six and a half Grendel complete upper receiver? Yes, that is the Stinger Raptor, spelled R-P-T-R, uh, with four pick rail sections built into the end, which is perfect for a bipod on this 6.5 Grindle. It just so happens to also fit all of your standard AR-15 lower platforms, meaning you can toss your stock Ruger AR-556 upper in the safe, drop this bad boy in with the latest and greatest Breek arms, sledgehammer, charging handle, our very own AT3 nickel bore on 6.5 Grindle BCG as well. Then after you win, all you have to do is send some money down range or at least at your next game animal. So sign up to win. It's below. Good luck. All right, we're talking tools list for your standard pivot pin installation. And man, this could be a short list or a long one, depending on which way you go. That said, the only thing that I needed to get this thing, uh, this bright red Cerakoted pivot pin in place was the help of a simple pair of needle nose pliers. Yes, you can grab a 75 cent quarter inch clevis pin or clevis pin from the hardware store or spend about 12 bucks for a very specialized tool from Real Avid. All of the above are the right answers and I will show you how to do each one in just a bit. Last note on tools guys, do yourself a favor, either buy a couple more springs and detents for cents on the dollar uh, or grab yourself a little FU bag parts kit, lost parts kit, still under 10 bucks, and it saves you time on your hands and knees searching the carpet for one of these lost parts. Here we go on to step number one, the detent spring goes into the receiver. Step number two, it starts with your best safety squint, and here's uh, where we can go one of three ways. First, uh, is the way I like to do it or get the job done and that is to grab my detent with a pair of needle nose. The detent goes both ways so don't stress over it. Line it up, bring in my new, my new pivot pin and here's the trick. You're going to apply pressure to the spring and detent with the tip of the pivot pin, push and rotate into place and voila, uh, done and did. If you don't have the confidence to knock that out without any specialized tool, there's part two for step number two, and that is getting yourself a cheapo clevis pin or clevis pin. You can find these at almost any or all hardware parts stores, and the recommendation is for a quarter inch diameter and about two inches long for extra room. Trick to these is to slide the pin in from left to right. The hole in the pin should align with the hole in your upper. Then you're going to slide in your spring and detent, Push the entire shooting match in with a small punch or pointy object. Spin the clevis pin to hold everything in place. Then chase your new pivot pin through while pushing out the clevis pin. Part three of step number two, this fancy, real, avid pivot pin tool. Okay, open and honest, if you're only doing this one, maybe two times in your life, the 12 or $14 uh, on this tool, Probably not your best or wisest investment, but man, does it make the job stupid easy. Uh, watch this demonstration. Tool, detent, spring, push, twist, pivot pin, done. On to step number three. Yeah, there is a step number three, even though the pivot pin is fully installed in this process, and that is simple. Go check out this next video right over here where we get to install a shiny new bolt catch with or without extended mag or extended catch. Uh, and please go get yourself a 6.5 Grendel upper. It's this month. It's all month. We'll see you over there. 